Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today is the 2nd of December, 2018, and we are going to get back on the 1959 Riverside Silver Pigeon built by Mitsubishi. This particular model scooter that Mitsubishi built was the one and only that they built with an overhead valve, 125cc cast iron four-stroke engine. Um, bought the scooter, oh, let's just say two years ago. Um, tried really hard. I think there's some early videos to get this thing running, and it just wouldn't run. We could almost get it, but uh, then we backed up and did a compression check on it. It was about 25 pounds. 25 pounds is not enough compression for an engine to run. However, this is a low c compression ratio engine. I believe this is... a uh, like five and a half or 5.6 to one, something uh, around there, maybe six to one. It's not very much, so I wouldn't expect it to have huge compression, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna need 80 pounds or thereabouts to uh, make it live. So uh, last week, last video on this, we pulled the head off and I took it to a local small engine shop um, to get the uh, the valve and the seat ground. So I picked the head back up yesterday. Um, there was not a lot wrong with it. So just putting this thing back on and thinking it'll go might be a waste of time. So I think what we ought to do is look a little further. I was... Uh, Talking to a friend of mine last night, and he says, uh, uh, your rings are probably froze on the piston. And I'm like, well, cylinder looks good. Piston goes up and down real smooth. But it is a 1959. I mean, this thing is, what, 60 years old. Um, so it probably has that significant period of its life. And maybe the thing to do is to pull that jug. So I didn't really want to take it further apart, but I think it's a waste of time knowing that we didn't really find anything in the head. It would just be a waste of time to put it back on and then take the whole thing back apart again. So what we're going to do is uh, pull the jug off and see what the condition of the rings are on that piston. Remember, this engine went into this model scooter, and this is VIN number 463 or whatever it says. Um, there aren't very many of these. Finding even a head gasket's impossible. Everything on this would probably have to be made or matched up to something else that has the same dimensions and stuff. I'm not going to be able to buy piston rings for this. So even if we get it apart and they are froze, getting them unfroze is a challenge without breaking them. I mean, I broke brand new rings, putting them on a piston before. Um, getting rings to free up, they usually come off in pieces if they're not already in pieces. Just because of um, their age, their cast iron, they're brittle. You drop one on the ground, it might just break. So that is a, a risk we're diving into, but uh, I think we need to. So uh, I'm going to get you set up on the stand and uh, we'll start busting some bolts loose, see what's up. Yo. So... Gloves help a lot, not only keep your hands clean most of the day, a little bit of warmth. When I'm jumping back and forth from doing this to the camera, I don't screw up and get my camera all painted or greased up or whatever, because it's not only a camera, it's my phone, so, right? Well, the nuts come loose. 
when I was thinking of this last night, I was, I never really looked to see if the, the studs that held the head on were also the studs that held the jugs on. Often that is the case. I couldn't remember how this was till I got out here this morning and realized there's another set of studs and nuts that hold the jug on. And then those longer studs are just for the head. <laughs> kind of tight, but it's a situation where magnets are very helpful to get the washers off. And you do want to get the washers off. You don't want to pull that cylinder and knock two of these down in the crankcase. So take the washers off. Yeah. How do I know that? Well, Hit my first rodeo, I guess. Don't rush it. You have to do that one from the other side. They're not the easiest to get at. But at least they come loose. So we'll get this off and then the first thing we'll do is uh, shove rags or towels around the rod to keep debris out of the crankcase. We're going to protect this engine like it's going to run again. Wouldn't it be great at the end of the day to hear it run? If you saw the last video, you saw that all this left of the exhaust is a piece of pipe with a bend in it about that far. And then the pipe that goes from there to the muffler is missing or rotted away or something. And then the muffler itself, remember it sits underneath the floorboard. If you didn't see that video, you might go back and look, uh, last week's video. It's actually a, a muffler that the Inlet is on one side and the outlet is on another. The tailpipe is essentially on just the other side of the muffler, but they're on the same end. The in and out is on the same end. And I don't know why, but I'm really anxious to rebuild that muffler. So that's one more incentive to get it running, is what I really want to do is get it running and then dive into rebuilding that muffler or just build it a new and basically dissect that muffler that's on it take it all apart and then build one just like it I don't know why I have this desire to do that but I do so all the more reason to get it running because I want to build a muffler two down two to go this one's easy to get to Remember, I can't get gaskets. I can't get anything for this. I'm lucky to know what spark plug to put in it and to be able to get that. Three down. Gotta get the washer. There we go. Boy, this one's gonna be tough. The uh, this jack shaft pulley is right in the way. I almost need a 12 or a 14 millimeter pro foot here, but I think we'll get it. Just going to be slow. What do you think we'll find when we slide this off? 
We need to find a problem. That's what we need to find. We can't fix something when we don't know what it is. And right now, we don't know what it is. Uh, we are still diagnosing. So finding stuck rings would be bittersweet. Sweet because we found the problem. Bitter is resolving the problem. Could lead to a permanent problem. There we go. Dexterity. And now we'll get that last washer off of there. So we don't have to tear the motor apart and go find it later. Think it lifts off or just got to beat it with a hammer? Oh, we have movement. Come on, baby. Slide out. Oh, we ruined the gasket, though. That's an easy one to make, though. No worries. <clears throat> Almost there. Come on. Come on. What am I hitting on? We got her. We got her. Looks good in there. Alright, let's find out what we got here. The rings are fine. The rings are fine. Hmm. I guess all we have now to do is to clean this mess up. But the rings are good. Wow. Well, we had to know. We had to pull them. We had to know. Let me uh, pull my gloves. Well, it took 10 minutes to take apart. We'll take half an hour to put back together. But... Show you the rings. They're fine. They're just fine. A little bit of scoring on the top side of the piston, but nothing serious. You can see all the way in the cylinder might be tempting just to drop a hone in there real quick nothing don't go crazy because I don't have new rings to seat to it but that's what we got all right I think my task now is to uh, stuff that crankcase full of rags and uh, start to clean up the piston process and we'll clean up that cylinder just a little bit very lightly hone it and we'll reassemble it and hope we have compression and maybe we hear it run today that'd be cool i've had this in a couple years and all i've heard it do is sputter a little all right gang thanks for uh, hanging with us for the morning and uh i'll do a little work and i'll turn you back on a little bit all right gang we got that piston all cleaned up the rings look excellent. They've got good tension. Um, got most all that carbon off the top and sides of the piston itself. The rings move freely. I have spun the center compression ring up to where the gap in the ring is all the way up. And then the top ring, the gap is all the way down. They are 180 degrees apart from each other. So when we slide the uh, cylinder back over the piston, um, those things are as far apart from each other as they can be. That just helps maintain compression. Um, and now we are going to lightly hone the cylinder. And I mean lightly. Uh, we are not 
honing this out as if we were doing a rebuild because these rings have already seated to this cylinder. You can't change that or you'll lose the, what compression you have. We are merely trying to clean this cylinder out. There's a little bit of carbon up on top. Just a little bit of discoloration, if you will. And we're just trying to clean it up a little bit. Nothing crazy, right? We're just slow. Um, give it a little bit of tension. Keep it well lived. Careful on your way out, let's loosen the tension. We don't want to break the stones. Oh, still have that head gasket in there. The irreplaceable head gasket. Stay. Yep, I think that's going to be fine. Let me wipe this out real quick with a towel, and I'll show you what we got. I think I have some cleaner stuff around here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, accidentally stopped the video. <laughs> so again, we're trying to really hone this thing out, get crazy with it. We're just cleaning it up, top of the piston. There's certainly no ring ridge. There was just a little bit of carbon up there. I'm gonna clean this uh, cylinder up a little bit before we put it on. And then let's put it on. All right, back in a little bit. All right, the head's all cleaned up and kind of ready to go. I guess we got to get those towels out of the out of the engine before we try to put the cylinder back on. Which is not always the funnest thing to do, by the way. Getting the rings to cooperate and. Uh, can be a little tricky, but let's see what we got here. Get rid of all this debris. Um, My executive decision is going to be to remove the gasket altogether, seeing as how it will come off. I'm going to take a moment, put this back, and let's get that gasket out of there. And we'll just have to use some sealer. We all we can do. It's not like I can get that gasket. Hang on, I'm going to go to a razor blade. There's one here. Sort of. Tell you what, let me do a little more prep and I'll turn you back on. 
Okay, we're back. We're a little better prepped now. I use uh, I use a uh, sealer called Super Blue. I know I've been using it for a long time. Super Blue. It's just a silicone. Um, they also make like Ultra Blue and stuff. I just like this stuff. Um, so anyway, I went around the base of the jug. I used uh, engine assembly grease, just a white grease. A little bit in the front part of the cylinder and around the piston rings. Product I've used since high school, actually. So let's uh, see how difficult it's going to be to put the cylinder back on. Here we go. Um, it's going to be a pain, I'll tell you. I'm going to look at a couple things um, as far as like a ring compressor. I have a couple that are very adjustable, and I have room for it here. Let me uh, turn you off again. I'm going to see if one of my ring compressors will uh, go down that small. And if they will, we'll put one on. That would just uh, make me feel better. Hang on. All right, my ring compressor will not go that small, so we're going to shoot for a hose clamp here. See if this will work. I'm just so nervous about breaking a ring because, man, it's game over. That happens, so... If we can find a tricky tool here... Let's do that. So the trick will be to get the ring compressed enough to go in, but allow this hose clamp to move so it can't be too tight. If we do it right, we should better just push down and then things will align themselves. Let's see. It will support. Come on. Okay. Back off for a second. I'm going to reposition that clamp. Make sure I get that top ring. Once again, one shot at this. And we have more than one shot, but we don't want to break it. Dragon again. Suppose these notches are there to help us. 
there's notches at the bottom of this cylinder here. Let's work it on both sides here. No hurry. Let's make it happen. Wish I could see that. Come on. Work with me here. There we are. Winner and still champion. Yeah, brother. Oh, when the going gets tough. Yeah, I was hoping my ring compressor adjusted down to small, but not quite. So, $2 hose clamp to the rescue. Alright, we're there. We're there. We gotta rotate this baby to about there. smooth we're on and we got a sealer coming around it can't go in well it can but it's pretty tight but it can come out all right cylinders back on I'll uh, put those nuts on you don't need to watch me do it you already watched me take them off catch you back in a minute